Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Before 2015, gamers didn't have many options beyond TeamSpeak and Skype to stay connected with fellow players. And Discord changed all of that. As compared to other popular messengers, Discord has been here for very little time, but has swiftly gained popularity. Hammer and Chisel looked at how gamers struggled with group voice communication features built into games. So they designed a voice chat service for them. Discord has taken center stage in the gaming universe since then. Though it was built with gamers in mind, it's turning into a general platform for different communities. Worldwide, Discord has gained over 250 million users. A voice over IP app, also known as VoIP, lets users select from multiple servers, which are basically channels dedicated to specific topics. And this allows users to connect with people having similar interests. Today, I'm going to share how you can get started building an app like Discord. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. In 2020, Discord has proved to be a bit of a savior. When the whole world is working remotely, scheduling meetings, video conferencing, etc., etc. In-app chat features are invaluable communication tools today. Discord is an app that can be used on a PC, the web, and mobile. The app's quirkiness has positioned it distinctively. They offer unique black and cartoony backgrounds, and a user can even customize its server, as well as create public or private servers. Discord's major selling point is the fact that there is no limit to the number of users on the free server. Any server with limits has a high enough number that it's never raised a concern. Discord's feature lists include public and private servers, channels, roles management, chat, message alerts, notifications, screen share, chat history, and social media integration. So let's dive into the technical aspects of Discord. In order to build a voice and chat service app, you would require the latest in modern technologies. To start with, you can get in touch with the company and ask them to use WebRTC open source. The main reason Discord has been such a success is due to its seamless communication across its channels and servers. To achieve the same success, it is paramount to have robust backend support. For server-side programming software like Elixir, Erlang, Golang, Python, Ruby, and C++ can be used. The most cost-effective option is Node.js to develop an app like this, but it would be able to take a limited number of users. On the client side, Discord can be used on any device. The app is available on Windows Desktop, Linux, Android, iOS, and macOS. It works flawlessly across all the platforms. Since Discord's target audience is gamers who are present on all platforms, they have to be present everywhere. If your platform does not have the same target audience, then you should consider a web browser version and Android and iOS apps. Unless, of course, your pre-development research talks about varied target audiences. Kotlin or Java is used to build Android apps and iOS apps are built using Swift and Objective-C. So it's highly suggested to note down your requirements. Study your target audience and finalize the platform and development of the app accordingly. The, in the interface can be designed using Electron, React, and Flux. The frameworks have a pool of libraries that can aid you in creating classic UI. Data protection is another sensitive issue with voice chat and text messaging apps. To avoid data encryption and data protection problems, provide XSalsa20 for voice over a desktop app, TLS for text chats, and DTLS for voice over browser. In this video, I tried to address the most obvious questions that arise when one thinks of developing a voice chat app like Discord. The VoIP field is constantly evolving and growing, and therefore there is a scope for many outstanding ideas. So there you have it. We've discussed how you can get started creating an app similar to Discord. Do you use Discord? Let us know your experience in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.